Pierre Balus has been granted bail. He is a leader of one of the refugee factions down in Cape Town. He appeared in court this morning on multiple charges of assault with intent to do grievous bodily harm. Here's Aisha Ismail with the story. Pierre Balus made a very brief court appearance, an appearance that lasted for about five minutes. The court heard that um, his asylum seeker documents had been verified, that his um, address that he gave, um, an address in Paro, had been verified. And on that basis, the prosecutor granted him bail initially of 5,000 rand. Balus then indicated that he only had 2,000 rand, and the magistrate then agreed to release him on 2,000 rand bail. Um, with strict conditions and one of the conditions include him not being able to come into the CBD and um, he can only return to the CBD when he appears in court again on the 6th of March but that condition was subsequently changed because given that he is a refugee leader he needs to address his people and he also needs to come to home affairs to come and renew his asylum seeker papers so he will be allowed to come into the CBD but only once he he has notified the investigating officer but what was interesting to see was the number of supporters of JP Balusa's supporters coming to the um, Cape Town Magistrates Court to support him and as he walked out of the back gate here at the Magistrates Court he then got into a car and he was then um, they sped down the road but hundreds of his supporters then ran alongside the car um, so, um, chanting slogans in support of him. In the meantime, there still is no indication as to when the refugees will leave the Central Methodist Church now. They've been at the Central Methodist Church for three months now, and the negotiations with the South African Human Rights Commission, with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, including Home Affairs, will still continue to try and find a solution, a lasting solution for the refugees. Now, Faith, we know that the refugees are adamant that they do not want to um, be repatriated. They do not want to go to their countries of origin because they say they fled their often violent regimes and oppressive regimes. They also do not want to be reintegrated into the South African society, saying that their lives are in danger. And what they are asking for is to be resettled. They want to go to a third country um, where they say they will feel safe. And as I said, negotiations are still ongoing with all the stakeholders. Well, Aisha then uh, caught up with J.P. Balus himself as he was leaving court uh, this morning. Here's what he had to say. Mr. Balus, how do you feel to be free today? I'm, I feel okay uh, due to the situation, but I'm not uh, quite well. How are you? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 wait, 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 most, most, most. Nobody getting in, please. Please, please. 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 Mr. Balus, what are you going to do now? No, you can, you can, you cannot change the ideology. Ideology will never be changed. People who are suffering; they can never take this kind of. Are you innocent? I am, hundred percent.